Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 9. We are back in our mechanism under the room. Uh, and last episode, we set up um, Xnet to control all of our fluids, and it has worked pretty much perfectly. Um, I can show an example of it. We can um, search for our uranium, I guess. And we'll go ahead and order, I don't know, 10,000. What? I don't have a recipe for it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, you know what? We'll try a different ore just real quick, and then I'll try to remember to go and fix that uranium up. Um, osmium, we know this stuff works. Let's go here and order 10,000. Um, so it's going to process the blocks, as it does, in here. And it's going to turn them into fluids, and they're going to be distributed, if we look in here, at 200 millibuckets total. There's only going to be enough to make one thing in it. And it runs, well, it runs pretty well. But as you can see, there is some downtime where it's empty. Now, when it is empty, there's still stuff in here. So it's not a problem of we don't have the fluids. It's a problem of the extraction rate itself. Now, if we look on here, um, we can see we're trying to maintain 200 um, in here with the max setting. And we're moving it at 200 per tick. Or, or I guess 200 per, um, where is it? Per 10 ticks. Now, the suggestion made in the comments, which was pretty good. Um, who was this? I believe it was Philip and Calder suggested, you ready, that we get another connector and we place it on top, right? Um, apparently we need another network cable. And what that should hopefully do, I probably could have just connected it. What that should hopefully allow us to do is if we set this guy to also output um, slurries on the top, is we might be able to have it constantly have 200 in it, you know what I mean? Um, instead of getting that little bit of empty that we get. So, in other words, if we come here, um, I guess we'll just make a new one. We, we know what we're after. We're going to set this to be slurry. Um, we're going to set the max of nothing. Oh, no, wait, sorry. We're going to set it to extract. That makes more sense. Um, and rate of... Um, actually, yeah, just rate of max, right? 5,000? Yeah, cool. And then lower this to 10. So now, all of these are the same, which is good. Is that making a difference? Is that doing anything? Let's have a look. Ooh, it is. We have zero downtime. It's never empty, which means this is running as well as it possibly can whilst maintaining only 200 millibuckets in it. That is perfect. Big thank you to the, um, to those two, to, to Philip and Calder for that because holy moly. Sweet, cool, wonderful. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. Okay, so a few things we're going to do. First, we're going to jump back here. We're going to make the recipe for the uranium um, <laughs> blocks. So this one here, pretty simple stuff. There we go. Problem solved. Um, and then we are going to continue with our other mission. So if we go over to the reactor area, a um, few things to make note of. One is we were trying to use this modular, modular router to move fluids from the sink into this, right? Because that, that just seemed fun. I ended up um, just placing the sink below but I'm going to break this and we're going to give it another attempt. So that's fine. I guess it has water. So we can't really test it at the moment. Let's, um, let's order some polonium. So we'll jump in here, see if it even lets us. Can we get any polonium? Um, we can, it's going to order 100 polonium. Go for it. <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to take. In fact, was it already ordering that or is that the first? Okay. That's the first one we've done. That That's nice. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know how long that will take. We'll see. <laughs> Basically, it's going to make all of the fissile fuel and then start burning it up. Um, but yeah, the, the solution, allegedly, is to put either a bucket or a tank in here. Some sort of fluid um, object. So, um, where are we? We can use a tank from mechanism, allegedly. So, we'll try that. Or a bucket. We'll, we'll probably try a bucket. Um, and that was suggested by... Drumroll, please. <laughs> Where are we? Um, nukes me and an introvert. One word, an introvert. Oh, and Quetzalism. Oh, we got everyone coming in clutch. You guys coming in clutch. All right, sweet. So if I place in the tank, does it show? Oh, yeah, it's filling with water. Awesome. And then so we'll come back here later. We'll see if we've got our polonium. Currently, we have a total of 12. So we should have 100 polonium when we come back. And this guy should be full of water. Um, cool. Sweet. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay. So what are we actually doing this episode? Well, I, I, I'm not entirely sure if we want to do the wasted radioactive combs, mainly because it seems like this is working. It's not using that much uranium to make the stuff that we want. Um, you know what I mean? And, and like, 
But all that will mean is that we're just expanding our machines here. Or we use this as an investment and we still set up the uranium stuff. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. If we come down here and check, it, check out this guy, he has spent nuclear waste in him that we can make use of. Now, I believe we were making use of that. Um, if we go entangled blocks, I think this is it. Yeah, this guy's entangled to the thing. And so we just need to set up the area. Now, I believe we were going to do it in the, um, the other. So right here, I believe was where we were attempting to set it up. We haven't set anything up here yet. But yeah, this whole area is going to be radioactive. Oh yeah, we set up the mecha suit armor with radiation shielding. So I believe we actually can begin on our little project now. Um, so let's do it. <laughs> so I'm going to place this down and I'm going to hook it up with the binder. So now that is connected to the radioactive waste barrel. Um, oh, does fire just spawn or is there a blade? Oh, I think there's some blazes. Yeah, okay. I'll, um, I'll get rid of these guys. And then what we'll probably do, um, is set up like a torch in here. This is a very pixely area. It's absolutely horrendous for the, um, just for everything. <laughs> Can we, we'll just do minimal. Does that help? Does that feel, no, it does not feel any better. It looks a little better, but. Our frame rate's still just chugging. Um, all right, that's fine. So we'll um, we'll go back home. We'll grab the stuff we need. So we'll grab a feral flare lantern, maybe. Oh no, because that doesn't stop blazes. We need a, a big torch. Yeah, big torch. And I think this guy fills with normal torches. Is that correct? Okay. And we can't. Aff no. Yeah. What? <laughs> all right. Cool. Well, uh, that should hopefully be enough. Well, we'll see. Um, cool. I do need the radioactive waste barrel. Because that's what we're going to be breaking. Um, I am going to need a modular router. We'll see how this works. I don't think I need a pick wrapper, like a vacuum vacuumator or whatever it's called. But we'll we'll see. We'll, we'll obviously test it out. So the idea is that we pipe out of this into that. Pretty simple. <laughs> so we switch our bag. We grab um, two pressurized tubes, three pressurized tubes. <laughs> And we place it from here into here. And so we're going to be taking this spent nuclear waste and placing it there. Pretty simple stuff. So there we go. Spent nuclear waste is in this barrel. Cool. Then we're going to do the unthinkable. We are going to set it up so that it will be broken and replaced. Thus releasing the radiation all around here. Um, I should also get this guy placed. Um, oh, you just place it. One of the mods made it so that you had to add torches in a different pack. I'm a little bit confused, clearly. Um, so, here it is. I do have our breaker and our placer. Um, our breaker will be set to break out the front. It will... Yeah, it'll just break stuff. Our placer will place out the front. It will be placing radioactive waste barrels, so I might have to add that to the filter in a second. But, let's, let's give it a go. Boom, boom. Okay, it broke it. You can hear, you might be able to hear... Radiation. We cannot see it, but I think that's because I turned my particles off. Um, if we go particles again, we should see green. Oh, yeah. Lots of radiation. Now, our suit is currently hard carrying us in terms of us not dying. But other mobs will not uh, will not get the same fate, sadly. Um, okay, so. Empty waste barrel. Cool. What we're going to do now is grab out that placer module. And just add that in as a whitelist. And so now, we have this. And so it will break it and it will place it. Pretty simple. Um, it doesn't need to be any faster because that'll give it time to actually empty as we get waste coming in. But this should keep this area radioactive. Now, let's go back home. So we'll jump back in. We'll make a few things that'll just, I guess, help us a bit. Um, so one of the things is a, um, what are these called? Is a unit. Oh, sorry. Is a unit from Mechanism. Um, and it, oh, acid rainproof. That's pretty cool. So we've got some Ad Astra add-ons. Space breathing add-ons, space fireproof, gravity normal. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I like that stuff. And then what was this one? Gives it extra features. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, so what I would like is there should be a Geiger counter. Now, if we figure out how to spell Geiger and find the Geiger counter, we could probably um, we could probably make this guy. Yeah, here we go. Geiger unit. Cool. So let's attempt to, to make this. We just need a Geiger counter, which is apparently nice and easy to do. Put those torches away as well. Um, and voila, cool, Geiger counter. 
Yay! <laughs> I think we can also do night vision. Which, although we're not... We don't have any night. What this might benefit us for is... Um, oh, oh, you can get four of these stacked. Yeah, let's do that. Um, what am I trying to say? Um, is in just dark areas. You know what I mean? Like underground and stuff. It'll be nice and visible. Now we do have... Oh, we do have night vision. <laughs> what do we have night vision from? Does anyone remember? Do we have like a... What's giving us night vision? <laughs> How are we getting night vision? I don't actually remember. Um, what's this? Ring of recovery for coolness. Sure, it's just on for the, no reason. Um, water breathing. Yep, we need mana for that. Engineer's goggles, magnet, tool belt. Am I crazy? Why, what's giving us the night vision? Hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> I've got no idea. I don't remember. Okay, well, anyway, we can just add it. It's no real problem adding it to us. Um, we'll jump over here. Open this guy up. Open the helmet. Um, okay, so it will get the um, vision enhancement. It's going to get four of them. So that should be pretty cool. Um, brightens the surrounding environment, allowing you to use it to see through darkness. Install multiple for more effective. Cool. Um, so that's our better helmet. We'll see how that goes. Our body armor can get the Geiger counter. That'll tell us how much radiation is, I think, on us and just in general. Um, so we should be good. As you can see around us... Oh, I'm trying to find a good angle. In the bottom right here, look at that text. It says 99.99 um, NSV. So I think that's like nano, whatever the SV is, you know, radiation, whatever. Um, so now if we head back into the other, as you can see, that number is crazy. It's saying that it's going to take 9 hours and 12 minutes for that to dissipate. And it is 1.54 Full units. There's no little, there's no nano, there's no micro, there's no, none of that. It's just full units. That is ridiculous. Nine real life hours, I believe. Um, cool. So I'm glad we did it in this dimension. Um, so what is next? Well, we need some bees. <laughs> you guys are excited for bees, aren't you? Um, okay. What do we need? Radioactive bees. We need radioactive bees that we can then turn into waste, ra wasted uh, radioactive bees. Now these guys... Make radioactive comb. The radioactive comb makes uranium. Cool. Sweet. Probably not going to use it for that. But we need a Cree bee and an iron bee. If we search bee, we've got all of our bees here. We've got a few different... I'm trying to see out of the random ones we've picked up if we've got any leaf cutters. If we have any just laying around. You know what I mean? Because I've, I've tried to pick them up as we find them, but I typically don't find them. We end up having a hunt for them. And... and Make them appear ourselves. All right. Well, anyway, that should be fine. Um, so I need iron bee, Cree bee. The Cree bee explodes when angered. Might be the giant. You should keep this one to itself. Um, and, oh, and that's just going to be a bee and a TNT. Easy. Wonderful. An iron bee, that is going to be an ashy mining bee, which I think we have. And a crystalline bee, which if we don't have, we can make. So that's pretty cool as well. Let's search our crystal. No, that, that didn't show up. Let's search um, Ashy Mining Bee. Cool. So we'll have to make a Crystalline Bee. That'll be Nether Quartz Nest. That's fine. I'm sure we've got some uh, Nether Quartz Nest in the Nether, surely. We'll need a TNT. And I will go ahead and arrange for those bees. Alrighty, here we are. Um, so, boom. I don't know where the other nest was. So I had to make a new one. Uh, I forgot the... Oh, no. You just do this, right? Yeah, cool. Awesome. Um, so the question is... Is it just more nether quartz to spawn more of them? Because we can do that. We can make that happen. We've got nether quartz. Um, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Is that, is that correct? Oh, it is. Awesome. So we'll get this guy spawned real quick. I do have inventory space. That should be fine and easy. And we should have a crystalline bee in no time. <laughs> and voila. Boom. Cool. Nice. Pleasure doing business with you. Um, next up, we'll do the TNT B. Now, this one, I guess, we'll have to be quick about because, um, obviously, it's spawning a creeper B. So, I'm going to go boom. I'm going to go boom. I'm going to go boom. <sighs> Creepy. Okay. So, now I need to be, uh, breed the Ashy Mining B and the Crystalline B. So, how about we go and uh, go into this little laboratory? Oh, no. This area sort of got overrun with bees. <laughs> Um, where can we breed the bees safely? Do we have a safe breeding bee zone? We don't really, do we? Um, we'll just do it here, surely. 
So Cree B and Ash, no, Crystalline B and Ashy Mining B. Oh, so that, yeah, this one will be pretty easy. Um, I think it's just flowers. Can we get a double check on that? Yep, just some flowers. So we'll go boom, we'll go boom, and we'll go boom, and we'll go boom. We'll have our uh, stuff at the ready. Boom, boom, and then I just, phew, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> uh, so now we have an aluminum bee. Ah, we're going to have to breed these guys again. And I have a feeling that they're just not going to, like, they're not just going to breed. You know what I mean? They're going to uh, gravel. Ah, hold on. Let's, um, let's wall this area. Let's go glass. Um, and let's, let's cover this up. So let's go, what do we want? Do we want connecting glass? I think we do. What's this stuff? Dark glass, block slice. We don't need that. Um, connecting glass. Let's, uh, <laughs> this is going to be our breeding area. Now I've just realized that I haven't given myself a way in. That could be fine because, oh wait, we've got breeding chamber. Oh yeah. I just use a breeding chamber. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> we'll just... Do we still have the uh, manual breeding chamber? We do. Cool. It's got stuff in it, but I think we can just sort of yoink this stuff out. That should be fine. Um, so, Ashy Mining Bee, Crystalline Bee. Cool. And as you can see, it says Copper. Um, so, if I do this, it will change, hopefully. Iron Bee. Cool. Nice. Um, so, we just want that. Nice and easy. Make it happen. So, that'll, that'll happen. Um, I could speed it up with the time of the bottle. Um, with a time in a bottle. Where's my time in a bottle? <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I probably should have that guy on me. Boom, boom, boom. That shouldn't, yeah, that, that won't take long at all. Cool. So we'll have our INB. Awesome. So then, if I search INB, we've got to be a little bit quick about this. Our INB, oh, INB is a child. It's a child. Please. Um, INB. And then what else did I need? I needed... The creepy. The creepy is going to come into it in a second. Speed this guy up. We don't have time for this. See if I can grab it in time. Boom. I can. Cool. We go back over here. We take these out. We go creepy, I and B. And we chuck in the sunflower. And that is now breeding. And we grab a cage. And Bob is your uncle. Ta-da. I do need to speed it up again though, sadly. But there we go. Cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What? Iron B, creepy. Okay, the radioactive B. <laughs> okay, make sure you get the right B. That's, that's a, a, key, a key component here. Now, we are going to attempt to get two of these Bs at least. That's one. We'll get the second one. And we may run them through the mass breeding chambers over here, if that is even possible. It might not be, but we'll try. We'll, we'll test it out. Um, reason being is we need these to die and then we need to get some of them essentially So we now have radioactive bees. We've got two of them. We need these to obviously grow up. So we'll come over here and Chuck them in speed it up a little bit That should be good And then yeah, we've got to test them see if they actually can breed together So we've obviously got some I don't even know what bee that is. It won't even tell me. <laughs> oh sulfur bee So we'll take these out we don't need any more sulfur bees, at least at the moment. Um, we've got radioactive bees. We've got two adults. Wonderful. I'm going to chuck them in here. Oh, and it says that it will. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> what does this mean? I'm going to grab a rose and I'm going to chuck this in here. That will hopefully get us a few. Um, I'm going to add the child bees to this. So the, the three radioactive, radioactive child bees or the four, I guess, because apparently we've got four of them. <laughs> sure. Um, so we'll chuck those in. That will obviously allow them to start growing, which is good. And we only have three incubators, but what's the difference? Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold on. Um, no, uh, 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 you go, you go, you go, you go. I realized the problem. <laughs> the problem is, um, these are not the bees that we want at all. We want them to be, oh, uh, no, I think they actually are. Sorry. I was going to say we want very high productivity bees, but it doesn't matter because we're just killing them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry. I, I psyched myself out of that one. Um, 
Okay, yeah. Um, this part's going to be a little bit tedious. I do actually want to put those radioactive bees back in here. Um, so we'll see if I can. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, this, is, this is gonna be so messy, so messy. I don't know why I have a lisp now, but it's gonna be so messy. <laughs> Radioactive. This guy is still breeding more. Mm, okay. And yeah, and then I'll just place them in here. We'll have them obviously in each, and that should be good. So we're just waiting on the adult bees to be done. It's not the fastest thing in the world. Um, obviously, the more we get, the faster it'll be, but yeah. Okay, so. The deed has been done. All of these have radioactive bees. Oh, yep, they've all got radioactive bees. Um, so I just need to make a recipe, which is going to be 10 bee cages and 20 rose bushes equals 10 bee cages. Cool. Um, so what we're doing there essentially is that I'm grabbing some radioactive bees, whatever it may be. Um, and we're saying that um, 10 of these are made out of... Um, 10 of these boom, um, with 20 of these. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. And so now when I order radioactive bees, um, we'll get them. Now, I, I will be honest, we, we may regret this because these aren't very high productivity bees. I don't know how transforming the wasted radioactive bees into very high performance ones um, is going to work. Especially because I don't necessarily think that we're going to be able to make more of them in the same breeding way, like in here. With that being said, though, if we look at the radioactive bee, it doesn't say that you can put two radioactive bees to make one, right? Like to make a new radioactive bee. And yet you can. So it, it'll be interesting. Um, I'm just currently making sure that these guys are in their normal position. So, so now I'm guessing we can attempt to order some. Um... Oh, it doesn't actually show you which ones are... And we're still getting so many different types of child bees as well. That's another problem. Is that there's so many variations now. Because we're not using just like... I don't know. <laughs> two like top of the food chain bees. Um, that's fine. It's probably not fine. But we're going to pretend it's fine. Boom. Boom. I can put those in there. Sweet. Um, so, I mean, they'll... They'll process. <laughs> That'll be fine. Um... And so then these ones are all just adult bees of varying productivities. That's fine. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, sweet. So now we need to get them into the other dimension. So we're going to be grabbing um, the network. We're going to be grabbing network cards. And we're going to send the stuff over there. I will also get a wireless transmitter. And we'll just chuck one in there so that I can actually open my inventory in there. Because that seems like a pretty good idea. Um, and that should be good. So we'll jump in quick, set up the uh, the receiver. Oh God, the frames in here, absolutely chug. Um, network receiver, oh God, place this here. We'll place our transmitter on top. We'll get it with the network card, awesome. We'll jump back home. We'll got the transmitter and whatnot. Um, and that should be good. <laughs> fingers, fingers crossed. All right, I've loaded a lot, but we're still, we just absolutely, it feels like we're chugging in here. To be honest, we're at 100 frames, but I guess the minimums are still like, they're, they're like 30 and stuff. It's, I don't know, it feels bad in here, like frame rate wise. Um, okay, so what are we doing? Oh, you can see the Gaga counter kind of changes. I get closer to the epicenter, which is right here and says it's going to take 10 hours. Um, cool, 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 cool. So what do we do? Well, this isn't online. That... Is a problem. <laughs> Why is it not online? Is our system freaking out? Are we using too much power? No. Interesting. I mean, our base is obviously chunk loaded. That's no surprise. Um, this looks fine. I'm okay with this. That's the network card. You can see it's on. Link to the other. Um, if we go back in the other, it's offline. Interesting. Maybe you can't send the network in here. Maybe they've disabled that somehow. Cool. Okay. So we need a different approach. To be honest, there's a pretty easy approach. At least 
I think there is. Um, we'll just export the stuff here into a chest and then we'll send it um, over to the other area. Let's see if we can make that happen. Traveling through dimensions is always a little bit laggy and whatnot. Um, we can probably slap it over here. So I'm going to grab... I think we'll just use an entangled chest. The entangled chests are pretty... Or, you know, the entangled stuff is pretty cool. Um, so we're going to go exporter into this. So boom, exporter. This guy's going to have <laughs> all the radioactive bees. This is where it might get a little bit messy because I now need all the radioactive bees. Um, so radioactive. Cool. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All 11 types of radioactive bees that we apparently have. So all of these are going to be told to go in there. Cool. Hopefully they will. Um, this guy will be entangled into a different dimension, which is fine. Um, alternatively, we could save us a, a round trip. Let's grab a chest. Um, can we just get a normal chest? What? Do we have a normal chest? Oak chest, chest. Cool. I, don't, I don't know what happened there. I was I confused myself. Um, cool. So that fills up with stuff. I can now entangle this and then we don't have to make uh, multiple trips. We just come here once and that should be good. Oh God. Bear with me. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, so few things. Oh God. Is it the radiation that's doing this? <laughs> Okay, this is the epicenter. We are going to build a location around that epicenter and that is going to be our hub for these bees because not only do we have to make the bees here, but they need the radiation to feed, which means they're pretty much going to be living here. Um, so let's see if we can sort of make that happen. I'm thinking, honestly, stone in this dimension might not look that bad because we don't really have stone in the dimension. You know what I mean? Oh, that's a lot more stone than I wanted to grab, but that's okay. I'm going to turn it all into stone bricks. So, I... Oh, wait, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I will be back with all the stone bricks. You know what? Actually, I'm going to turn down the Giga counter. Um, both of these ones. There still might be a little bit of the sound, but I don't want to hear it. I don't really want to hear it. Okay, cool. So we didn't really make this as centered as I wanted it to be. Um, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that on this side as well. Uh, from this, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, so wait, one, two, three, four, five. Is that what we're saying? Oh God. I almost fell off the edge. Not even going to lie to you. Um, I mean, you can't fly in this dimension. So it actually, like it is a problem. <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead and maybe just, just maybe patch this up a little bit in hopes that, uh, that saves us in the future. Boom. Cause I wouldn't put it past myself to running over here intentionally or via lag and just boop. <laughs> all that stuff gone. I'm sure we could get it back, but like, you know, it pretty, I, I just don't want to deal with that. Okay, cool. So this is our area. Awesome. We're going to have to build a dome around this um, to obviously keep all of the animals in, all of the bees. Um, that looks pretty good. So let's use our building gadget here to make our job just that much easier. Cool. Um, can I? Yep, yeah, there we go. Boom and boom and boom and boom. Cool. So. <laughs> Do we want to build windows on this? I mean, we could. Or, oh, we might get better frames if we don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it might be better just to block this in entirely so that we don't see the outside world and maybe the outside world won't load. That's a thing, right? That, that's something that can happen. Maybe. Um, either way, we'll give it a shot. All right, now we, we will obviously need a door in. Um, Will we? I mean, I guess we we can just teleport in. I think we'll we'll move this to be in there. I think that makes much more sense. I probably should have just uh, silk touched it, but that should be fine. We can just obviously rebuild it. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, how cozy. <laughs> okay, so boom, waystone. Um, other no. Uh, let's go. Radio bees. People are gonna think there's a good time here, and they're gonna get zapped to death. Um, awesome. So far, so good. Now, um, a few things. 
First is I could move this closer, and I will. Just because that, I mean, saves us some space, right? So that will go there. Um, you will be you. Oh, you will. Oh, 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 oh. You will be you. Boom. Cool. So this this thing's good to go. Um, oh, we actually got a little bit more waste through there as well. I think. Awesome. So it's we're, we're topping up of waste. Oh yeah, it's a lot higher number now. Cool. Our stuff must have crafted. Um, okay. So next up, um, we are going to place down our bees and let them loose. These are our bees, or at least they're in a chest here. Um, how do we want to let them loose? <laughs> do we just have a item pipe and a dispenser and a, and a timer? I think we do that. Um, so, did I go to the right place? I think I did. I'm just struggling a bit. Um, so let's go dispenser. Um, okay, I might have to spell dispenser. Disp uh, dispenser, cool. I only need one, but you know, we'll get, we'll get some spares. <laughs> Um, cool. We will get the timer, which is this guy. Because he can be turned off, which is really, really good. Um, and we will get a lever, so that obviously we can turn it off. Uh, and I think that's it. I want to say that's it. Uh, item pipes. Uh, I mean, we've got stuff in our inventory that we could use instead of item pipes, but yeah, we'll grab that. That should be fine. Cool. Let's give this a shot. Um, the thing we just made is at the bottom of the list because... I guess they changed how that worked at some point. We'll wait for this world to load in. Yeah, I think it's going to and from dimensions. I think it, yeah, you can see in the top right, it eats up my memory for whatever reason. I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not really sure how to go about fixing that, but it's just how it is. Um, so this will go here, cool. I'm going to connect the pipes like so. We are going to set them to extract. So this is now full, or at least it will be full, of radioactive bees, all adult radioactive bees. We will then attach a timer like so. And that should dispense the bees. And they should die. As you can see. And they will die of radiation. Now this guy's going to d dispense them. I wanted to dispense them actually like every two ticks. Because we want just all the bees out here. Um, we will have a redstone here. Pause while redstone active is available. So if we turn this on, it'll stop putting bees out. Just you know, so we can actually turn this thing off at some point. Um, and yeah, cool. So as you can see, some bees are dying and we're getting their essence. They will die completely. We won't get anything from them most of the time, but there is a chance that some bees will remain. Now this system of the bees dying will obviously be a lot faster than, oh, is this one of them? Yeah, wasted radioactive bee. There you go, how cool. Um, so, you know what? I didn't bring some stuff. Let's grab some stuff. Let's grab some bee cages, I think. Um, my point being is that we'll try to see if we can breed them because if we can breed them, then that's fine. We can turn that system off, right? Um, oh, already making a mess. Boom. Try to go back in. Hopefully it's a good time. Oh, you, you know what? I, I've just solved, I've solved the waystones. I've solved them. Instead of previous and next, do what every other like site that has pages has, you know what I mean? Where it's got like, go to the very first page and then go back one page. Um, and then it will have like, you know, the pages you're close to. So like, it might have like three, page three, page four, page five, and then it'll have go next. And then it'll have go to last page. You know what I mean? So like I could go right to the end with one click, or I could go to, you know, page four in one click, or I could, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously I don't, I don't think they intended this many pages, but, um, you yeah, know, something to think about. Um, okay. So B cage, we've got one. Wasted radioactive bee out of all of those bees that um that we just had. That's pretty crazy. Like, like that is actually pretty crazy. Um, how low that percentage is. Oh, and we've got two. Wonderful. I'm gonna turn this off on the off chance that we only need two. Um, uh, let's go back home. And then we'll we'll head over to the bee area once the once the game allows us to. Um I'm sorry about that. I know la the lag is very like um it's just gross to look at. I do apologize, but um, everything's A-OK. -okay. I might have to restart the game at some point because <laughs> I think, I think the damage is done a lot of the time. Once you, once your memory usage gets that high, you sort of just have to chuck a restart. Um, we'll see how we go there. So <laughs> yeah, well, I'll definitely restart soon. Um, these were iron bees and Cree bees. Cool. We are now going to try. <gasps> it works. Okay. So 
All these radioactive bees <laughs> are useless. They serve their purpose, but they are no more. I do not need them. I mean, we'll store them, but I do not need them. Um, so, ooh, uh, just before we do that, I'm going to just take that out. Because we want to make them um, the best bees possible. I I'll tell you what as well, I'm going to restart the pack. Just for the sake of, uh, so that things can happen a little bit faster. Um, and that'll be that. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, a lot lower of a number. <laughs> Hopefully for a little bit. Even though it's steadily rising scarily. Um, sweet. So yeah, we're doing the, the bee stuff. I remember now. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm going to grab out these bees. I'm going to see if we have enough kamikaze bees to do... The very high productivity or, or see if we just have enough very high productivity to uh pimp out these wasted bees um so two wasted radioactive bees both of these are diurnal so i guess they work during the day i believe um their endurance the temper none of that stuff matters i mean as long as they're not aggressive i guess um so then it's just productivity now currently they're medium we are hoping to fix that fingers crossed there are some stuff in here that we can use um productivity high very high we have a 45 percent oh but we have two 100%. Beautiful. So, we are going to um, turn these into honey treats, I believe. Um, so, let's go honey treat. Let's order 10 of those, just in case some of them disappear. We turn those into some very high honey treat gene uh, genes, <laughs> I guess. Um, so, first bee goes down. Oh, yeah, hold on. I almost forgot that I need cages to pick them back up. Very important step here. So, you, you, you. Cool. So this guy's now very high productivity. Awesome. So we're going to do the same for this one. You, you, you. And he is also very high productivity. <laughs> so, um, I guess we begin. Let's go in here. Let's grab some cages. Let's grab some flowers, shall we? And we'll give this a shot. Let's grab two stacks. That makes sense. You go in there. You go there and there. And it has begun. So what I should be able to do is I should be able to speed this guy up fully. So he's now as fast as possible. And as you can see, he is pumping out bees. If we go in here at the waste of radioactives, we should have three types, all of which are very high. The only difference being the endurance. And then I think their health as well being the only thing that changes. I guess that is the endurance changing. So there you go. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do we need... I don't actually know how long this thing runs. I'm a little bit... Uh, full hour. Uh -huh. Is that actually going to run out? Let's see. I don't know if it'll actually do a full stack before it uh, slows down. Looks like it... Looks like it will. Cool. Oh, actually, it looks like it did just a stack. And now it's ready. Maybe a stack in a bit it would have done, but that's pretty cool. Nice. So, um, wasted radioactive. We'll grab one of each, obviously. Um, jump over here to allow them to be um, grown up. Now, wasted radioactive, wasted radioactive, wasted radioactive. Cool. Sweet. That works perfectly. Um, so, where am I going with this? Um, yeah. Sweet. Once we've got those, we can set them up in the other dimension. Um, so that should be fine. Or well, everything should be working well. Um, what we can do though, is we can do some prep here. So for example, oh, actually no, we don't want that to go there because that'll make the weights to stuff there. Hmm. This is going to be a full thing, like setting up this stuff. <laughs> oh God. Um, now, the second I go into this other dimension, I'm pretty sure our RAM is just going to tank. Like it's just going to be horrible. So maybe we'll plan this out a little bit smarter so we don't have to go through as many times. Um, so beehives, cool. We've got 12 advanced oak beehives. These guys will uh, facilitate five bees each. So that's pretty good. That's more than 50 bees that we can facilitate here. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, next up are the advanced expansions. No, the I think they're just called expansion boxes, right? Cool. Um, so we'll get 10 more of those to bring us up to scratch with, the, with what we want. Awesome. Um, I'm thinking all of the combs, we just bring back through a dimensional chest. Um, we've got some of those in our backpack, I believe. <gasps> yep, cool. So we've got one of these, awesome. So we can just send that, that'll store in our system, awesome. On the topic of our system, how are these guys going? They're almost full. C can we just make an infinite storage cell yet? Is that, we can do that? Let's, uh... this might be a bad time. Let's just order it. There we go. Um, that's mainly going to consist of, um, what should we call it? Yeah, ordering iron, believe it or not. So that's convenient. Um, oh, no, that's enriched iron. But yeah, it's going to order a lot of iron. It's also going to do a bunch of other crafting, which it can do. It's probably going to smelt a bunch of glass, I think, and a bunch of stuff here. So 
it can make that happen as well. Um, but yeah, that, that should work. So we've got the hives. We've got <laughs> we've got the hives. <laughs> um, we've got beehives. We've got the dimensional chest. Um, is there anything else that I can think of before we head over? I'll place them. Oh, the actual upgrades. That's a very important one. So productivity. Well, we want at least 12 of these. We can't do that because we don't have enough dust made, but I can order two of these at a time and then it will actually start processing the other stuff. Does that make sense? Possibly not, but uh, there, there is rhyme to the reason. If you guys weren't around for the bee stuff, I'll, I'll go over here and show you. Um, we have it so that, where is it? It's even further. Um, we have it so that this stuff doesn't process the draconic combs when we have enough of the dust, because I was using the draconic combs for other recipes as well. Um, so now that we don't have enough of the dust, it has begun. Um, we've got our heated centrifuges. This is getting us a lot more dust per comb, I believe. Um, I think so, at least. Um, and so, yeah, cool. So that's what that's doing. That will allow us to hopefully make more than two uh, uh, things. Draconic dust. Um, yeah, like we're already... We could actually make a lot. I think maybe I had it set to B10. And it was the two extra that we couldn't afford. Yeah, I think so. So, we should actually be able to do eight of these, right? No. Oh, we're missing... Dysprosium. Is that... That's for the nether stars. Cool. Okay. That's fine. We do have a few other workarounds. For one, I think we actually can make a hostile neural network for um, withers at this point. But also, we can probably turn this machine back on and get them this way. What was it? What's the only problem we've got here? The only problem we've got is just that it needs to be restarted every so often. Oh, actually, no, I do remember. I think for whatever reason, this wasn't working. Now showing with the boss bars. Now hiding with the boss bars. I shouldn't see any with the boss bars. I think that was broken for some reason. Um, either way, I think I think I just need to break the the skull. <laughs> it's a horrible thing to say. I think that's all I've got to do, right? Let's um let's give that a shot. Magnet is on. Let's break this. Let's go under here and break that. Cool. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, are we out of. Why didn't that place? Is that something I've done? <laughs> What's going on here? Boom. Soul sand. I've got soul sand on me. Sure. But soul sand... We don't have any soul sand. Cool. Okay, yeah. I, I know I removed that, but... For some reason, I thought we'd still have it. No, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's go into here. <laughs> um, one question I have is... That guy's probably... Uh, this guy... Hmm. Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> 64 dry ice? Yeah, get soul sand as well while you're at it. Yeah, cool. Okay. So soul sand should be back on the table. I don't know if that'll just spawn a wither on the spot. I don't think it will, but... Yeah, because you have to place the skulls last. We had something in place. This guy's meant to prevent it. If we have four soul sand, if we have less than four soul sand, it emits redstone, and this guy... Oh, it should actually be the opposite. Emit signal went above the amount. Yeah, okay, there we go. So it should only place that when we have enough um, soul sand in the system that it's going to be able to do that, which, as you can see, works. Cool. You can close that back up for security. Um, okay, that should be that system solved. Oh, the boss bars aren't showing up again, which is awesome. Um, and this should get us nether stars um, a lot faster and with a lot less resources than what we we're going to use alternatively. With that being said... Oh, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I'm not seeing many nether stars, but... Yeah, our only delay at the moment is the um, the soul sand, but that's fine. It'll it'll happen. Okay, that's that's obviously the main thing is that it will happen. <laughs> um, yeah. So we go omega. Maybe we just craft a few. See, I'm um, see like the second. Yeah, yeah. Really, it needs thirty two a pop. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, we need to just leave that machine running, which I mean it should have been, but you know things happen. That's fine. Um, what's causing that to slow down? The soul sand. D did we have any other solution for soul sand or is it still just this guy? Still just this guy. We could, <laughs> hear me out, <laughs> hear me out. We could um, revolutionize this setup over here. This is currently bulk washing. If I place a bunch of soul campfires on this, it will be converted into a different machine. Um, and we could have that happen. All we would have to do is put 
um, sand into these, I believe. Is this guy told to... Yeah, he's called to whitelist. Okay. Cool. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to do that, at least for now. Because, I mean, we do need it. Let's go soul sand. Does this allow me to drag it in? Oh, it does. Beautiful. They don't always let you do that. Once upon a time, you couldn't. Times are changing. Um, cool. So, this guy's... Only works without redstone signal. Awesome. We're going to change his mode currently. This is all manual. It realistically, I'd make this proper, but it's fine. Um, and we're going to change this to be soul sand as well. So it's going to stop when we have 30,000 soul sand, which I don't know if it can do. But we're going to see... Oh, actually, hold on. No, you're meant to be sand. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, sand doesn't show up first when you search sand. What a travesty. Sand. Um, sand. Do we have sand? We have a lot of sand. So sand's not a problem. Plenty of sand. Then we want soul sand. And then once we've got 30,000 soul sand, the machine will stop. But for now, aha! Full of sand. And... Hmm. I mean, it should be placing them there, even if it doesn't think it can do anything. Um, we then need soul campfires. Um, I'll just craft a stack of them. Oh, that's going to order sand. Hmm, the sand problem begins. <laughs> Why is this not doing anything? Um... Is it the way that the distributor's set up? Round robin? Distribution. I mean, it should just... Oh, I put... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. All right. Boom. There we go. Um, so that's getting washed currently, which probably isn't going to do anything. I'm going to have to add a filter there as well, but that's fine. It at least gives them something to do. Lepers! <laughs> Sorry. I've... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting lapis. Sand. There we go. Sand. So you go there. So they're now both making a mess. They're checking it twice. Um, but I need to place the soul campfires down first anyway before any of this is going to do anything. So that's fine. If I place it, it is waterlogged. So that's a, I mean, that's a problem. Um, let's go ahead and grab... I don't even know if I can do this with buckets. I think I just need to grab the building gadget. How many of this like dirt? And then I just need to do one of, one of, one of these, and these, and these, and these. That's fine. We'll just make a new one. You'll be that. Cool. Let's go ahead and pick up the dirt. Awesome. That's made a horrendous mess that I regret doing profusely, but it's also kind of fine. I think we can, uh, oh God. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. It's going to eat me alive seeing the holes through there. What's happening? What? I double right clicked and my dank disappeared. <laughs> Why'd they go in there? Oh, I must have clicked on the depot. That makes a lot more sense than, than magic taking place. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, cool. All right, nice. So, so this area at least looks a little bit nicer. Cool. We can now place soul campfires. I don't actually know if this is going to work that way, but we'll place them. Um, I do need a few more. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll see if that works. Um, in order to do that, we are going to need to alter these guys. These guys are going to be told that they will accept um, soul sand. Oh, no, it's blacklist. So they will blacklist sand. So they won't take sand out of the system. Um, so that includes you, sir. You will not take sand out of the system. I mean, as you can see, it's nice and slow now. And in the perfect world... We should see these guys pull something. And that should be soul sand that they're pulling. <gasps> and that looks like it's what they're doing. Now, I couldn't see it happen, but that should be soul sand coming in. And it should be a lot. We currently have this much. That's a lot of soul sand to be pulling in at a time. That's only capable from this machine. So, cool. That machine's up and running. Wonderful. Um, let's now go back. The um, These guys should be in full force. They shouldn't be running out anymore, which is awesome, as you can see. Cool. Wonderful. <laughs> You'll love to see it. I'm really, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this system. It works really well. Very nice. Um, surprisingly enough, he's almost not able to kill. Oh no, I guess, yeah, he does like slot by slot, doesn't he? Okay. Cool. So, that should be plenty of, um, nether stars. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Let's go Omega. To be fair, that's still only enough for like, you know, three more. <laughs> Omegas. But we'll order them. We'll, we'll make it happen. Um, 
In fact, yeah, I think I do need to just wait until we have everything that we want here before I travel, or else, once again, the, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The ram's gonna just ruin the episode, it, it'll be unplayable. Um, so I need 12 of these, according to my logic, and then I was just gonna get a bunch of productivity ones. Now, we can order, like, gamma, right? Because these only need eight nether stars. We could probably do productivity as well. These only need two. Like, these are pretty good. Like, these do, you know, this one does 200%. And obviously, we can just make a bunch of these instead of doing omegas. So, we probably will do that. But, um, we do want at least some omegas because these do block upgrades and simulators. So, they're just, they're phenomenally worth it. Um, we can, however, order. Oh, God, I'd need a lot. Because if we're doing 12, right, then I need 4 times 12, right? So, I need 48 here. That's a lot to order. How much do we need? Yeah, we need a lot more dust. And then we we also need um just just a few more nether stars. <laughs> um, but cool, yeah. What's this guy waiting on? Honey buckets. Nice. Um, all right, but we can we can set up some, I guess. So um what do we have? Currently we're ordering six, so we'll we'll work in regards to having six. So we'll do six times four, which I believe is what, twenty-four? Is that correct? Maybe? Hopefully. Um, so we'll order that. That should hopefully fill up the... Oh, I don't actually need four of them. That's my bad. I only need a few. It's fine. The extra ones we can reuse. Um, so yeah, now we just wait for those to be made. They're going to be using... Oh, I'm waiting on iron. That might never happen. <laughs> oh my god. That's going to be ridiculous to wait for. Um, iron ingots. Do we have iron dust lying around that I can just borrow? No, we have iron ore though. Oh, we have millions of it. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's um, I'm gonna ore hammer some. Um, can we order a stack of these? That'd be brilliant. I don't even know if we can. Cool. Um, I'm gonna get a bunch of these and we'll just manually do some, just to hopefully have it go towards what we want. I don't think it will, but a man can dream, I guess. Um, so I will fill this guy up with iron. Did that do anything for our recipe? <laughs> no. <laughs> it just worked towards this guy a little bit faster? Yep. Okay, well. I mean, I'll cancel him. That will allow this stuff to process, I guess, and we'll still have iron. It's fine. It'll all work out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so this guy's pretty much done. This guy's allowed to happen now. These guys... I don't actually know what the problem is here. Are we genuinely just waiting on honey? Is that... Is this guy's crafting? Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what the issue is. So currently, making honey. Cool. <laughs> this guy probably could be a little bit faster if he wanted to. Um, we're also... Yeah, we're producing honey here. And it's not the fastest thing ever. Um, I mean, I can speed it up a bit just because we obviously need it now. How's that? 16 times as... 32 times as fast. Is it even visually that much faster or is it limited beyond my control? <laughs> Possibly. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. <laughs> this stuff's so slow. Oh, cool. We've got the three product. Yeah, okay. I mean, th this is pretty good as is. We'll get the rest of these um, other upgrades later. Let's, ju let's just jump through. I, I know it's going to mess with the lag and whatnot, but she'll be right. The episode's pretty much over anyway. I just sort of want to get this stuff rolling a little bit. Um, so, Radio Bees, let's jump on in. Um, and what do we want to do? Well, we want them to live here because they're going to eat the radiations all around us. Um, I didn't bring the beehives. <laughs> what a world we live in. Um, hive. Um, and then expansions. Cool. Oh, and then the wasted radioactive bees. And all of these are adults, which is awesome. How cool is that? Um, oh, you know what? I was going to say we need feeding slabs. I don't actually know how that works with these bees. Can these bees be simulated? Very interesting. Oh, yeah. Let's give this a shot. So, advanced oak beehive. Um, expansion box. Cool. We're obviously going to chuck in um, our upgrade. We'll chuck in all of these. <laughs> sure. We're going to put in... Oh, God, what, am I, what am I even doing? We're going to put in five bees. They're going to go in here. Will they work? 
Very strange. Because there's radiation in the atmosphere, but obviously the simulator means that these guys... What's this? Cyan... Cyanite bee spawning into a plutonium one. Cool. Wait, a radioactive bee? No. Waste of radio. I scared myself there. Yeah, very odd. What would this guy need as his flower? He uses uranium. Cool. What can he turn into? Polonium? Thorium? Cyanite? Yeah, okay. Cool. So now I've got radioactive bees. And, oh, sorry. Waste of radioactive bees. Um, they don't pollinate on any flower. Instead, they absorb radiation from the surroundings. Hmm. I'll be... I, I don't know. I don't think this will work. Maybe? Put empty bee cages. Interesting. I wonder if a feeding slab and a radioactive waste barrel would somehow do something. Um, yeah, I might not be able to do these upgrades, possibly. I'll tell you what. I'll invest an hour of our time by doing this. And we'll see if anything shows up. You can hear the bees. They're in there. And we'll just see. We've got the, obviously, the productivity upgrades. We've got our waste bees in here. We've sped up time. The fact that nothing has showed up yet makes me believe that this will not work and it won't actually do anything. Which is pretty crazy. Because that means we're going to be stuck with um everything that's not a simulator upgrade. And that cuts off pretty quickly, I'm pretty sure. Um, this guy here, yeah, the Gamma one is a simulator. So, <laughs> I might actually want to cancel that. But yeah, I mean, that's not working. We would have had stuff by now. So, that is a little bit unfortunate. Let's um open this. Let's cancel this order. Let's cancel that. Let's actually cancel a few of these. I'm sure they'll reorder themselves, but that's okay. Um, Yeah, very interesting. So, what we need is, it, is the betas, these ones, and block upgrades, I think. So, we're going to order... Um, Huh, what do I need? I need 3 times 12. So I just need 36 of these. And then um, 12 of the um, other things, whatever they are. So what are these? We are getting just 150%. Yeah, cool. So I'm going to order those. And then we just need block upgrades. And we've already got some spares left over. Cool. Um, this is going to take up like all my inventory. So I guess we'll begin. What do we have? We have 20, so I'll leave um, 8. Cool. Okay, well, I don't know if that makes our job easier or harder. Um, it's going to make it slower, I'll tell you that much. Um, it's also going to make this room very bee busy. <laughs> very busy with bees. Um, okay, advanced oak beehives. These guys are all going to come across here. Cool. Um, of course, the room is one short. Well, I guess two short. Yeah, it's fine. Um, that will go here. We'll obviously want to move these, but we'll... Yeah, <laughs> we'll sort that out later. I mean, they, they probably can just stay there. It's, it might look a little worse, but it probably doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, okay, so, we are... Hmm, yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> like, do I just want to begin? I mean, I guess we can. They're going to go everywhere. They're going to instantly leave this beehive, but... I guess it's okay. I guess we'll begin. Five in there. Oh, yeah, that won't actually... I've just got to drop them in the room, because there's no simulating. Oh my god, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's begin. <laughs> Top 10 worst ideas caught on camera. Geostream edition. Hi guys, welcome back to Top 10. Today's episode, we're putting a lot of bees in a room. Yep. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, I, I suppose I could put it in the, uh, dispenser, but I don't know, this seems fine to me. Alrighty, so yeah, this is going to be horrendous. Probably, maybe a little bit for the server. We'll, we'll, we'll see the impact of it later. <laughs> but also just like, I don't know. To monitor. Like, how many bees did I place? I don't know. I could probably look back in recording, but who knows? <laughs> um, Alright, so they should absorb the radiation, which is cool. I don't know if that will actually increase, like, decrease the time that we are radiated, but that could be cool. Um, they'll hopefully go into one of these that have a... Uh, to have some block upgrades. Cool. In the meantime, I'm going to head back home. <laughs> we're going to get rid of all of these uh, upgrades that we've got. 
We're going to search for our new productivity upgrades that are hopefully coming in hot. Hot off the press. Cool. Looks like we'll be making a trip or two. That's A-OK -okay with me. And now we need to distribute these, hopefully, into every single one. I guess we'll know because we'll have none left over. Um, but that should be good. We should get a bunch of combs. Now, I do realize that I didn't hook these up with pipes or anything. Um, which I completely forgot about that I need to do in order to get this stuff out of here. Um, I suppose we could alternatively, um, what should we call it? Just, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Uh, modular router them. Um, we could. I have a feeling I'll just pipe. Uh, maybe we will modular router them. The modular router is kind of just easier because I can just grab three of these. These do a max of... What do they say? Their range is that, but I think they do a max of eight that they connect to. So if we just grab, I mean, realistically, it's just two of them, right? To connect all of them. That should be good. That should pull out all the, all the um, hives. And then we just need a sender module, um, Mark two to put it into the um, dimensional chest. That should work perfectly, I think. All right, <laughs> let's give it a shot. So uh, modular router will go here. Cool. The dimensional chest can go here. Sure, whatever. Um, these guys are both going to um, transfer into the router. Awesome. The sender module will transfer into this guy. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. There he goes. Um, and then we will split these up and I will begin. So I will grab from here. So we're going to connect as many as we can. Awesome. And then we will connect the remaining ones with this guy. And so they are both ready to go. They're both going to go here. And so they should both pull in all the combs that may or may not exist. Now, I will say, I don't know if I needed to place them on the hives. You know what I mean? Because none of them have gone in yet, obviously. But none of them are pollinated yet. I, I think. I guess we'll see. Let's, um, let's actually turn on our particles. So we'll get a little bit more laggy. But we'll obviously, I think we'll be able to see a little bit easier if any of these have stuff on them. Currently, it looks like they're just bees. <laughs> the area is radiated. You can see in the bottom right. Um, yeah. So I guess, I guess that's where we're at. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess I just sit here for a bit and like just wait. Uh, we obviously want this uh, not only claimed, but chunk loaded as well. Um, so, so the stuff happens here. Oh, no, was that just a green particle? Just a fun green particle? Cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I think we just wait though. I think this should all work. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's been a little while. And as you can see, there's a lot less bees in the room, which means either they're dead <laughs> or based on the honey I see there, it's working. Um, so as you can see, we've got honeycombs in these. This guy should be full of a stack, which is awesome. Um, and so far it looks pretty good. Oh, oh yeah. I for, I for, oh, man, how unlucky. I forgot to put these upgrades in some of them. We could have added a little bit more honeycomb than we already do. Although I guess it's a good example. We've got 16 there. And then in the next one that actually had the upgrades, we've got over a stack. Um, so yeah, the upgrades are well, well worth it. Cool. So all we need to do now is put the, um, sender module back in and that will move them across. Probably could do with some stack upgrades <laughs> and speed upgrades. I'm sure that would, uh, help a little bit. Um, at, maybe, maybe let's do an app modular for these guys. There we go. And all should be good. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. And let's see. Everything's moving. Everything's moving. Everything's moving. And we're empty. Cool. Now there is honey being made in here, but meh, I guess is my answer to that. Um, we'll deal with that if we need to, or if we want to, I guess if we want the extra honey, but I, I don't think we do. We've got honey from all across the globe. So wasted combs. We've got them. What next? Well, the individual combs themselves claim to give us one bucket of nuclear waste. Um, now the nuclear waste, this is it already processed. We don't need to manage it with a reactor or anything. This is just good to go straight into polonium. Um, and that will obviously give us the spent nuclear waste. So just before we wrap up here, because oh, wrong spot, just before we wrap up here, I do want to, um, 
head back over here and possibly introduce them to this system. As in, like, hook the stuff up. Reason being is I want a steady supply of spent nuclear waste. You know what I mean? So I, all I need to do is add it into this pipeline. That's all we've got to do. <laughs> That's all we've got to do. Um, and then that will automatically turn it into polonium. Um, yeah. That'll just bypass that entire system and it'll just automate it all. Um, what we can do over here is this machine's running, which is fine, I guess. Um, but I was going to maybe turn off um, this guy. I guess I don't need to turn that off. Ah, we'll, we'll just hook it up. Everything's fine. <laughs> so, what, how are we going to do this? Well, um, we are going to get a centrifuge of our own. Um, our own heated centrifuge. So, as you can see, it needs a few different things. It needs a powered centrifuge, which needs a normal centrifuge, which needs a grindstone, which apparently needs planks. And we don't have planks. <laughs> how do we not have planks? What world do we live in? Okay, we, okay, we don't, I, fair enough, fair enough. I got a little bit carried away with my zeros there. One day, one day we'll have that many. Can I do this? Cool. Let's, um, yeah, let's just solve that problem real quick. Okay, centrifuge, awesome. Um, so we make one of those, and then we make one of these, and then we make one of those, and then this guy stays here. So he's going to get, um, a gate. He's also going to get speed upgrades, courtesy of the bees. Um, and he will go... Right here. I thought that would connect. I'm actually surprised it didn't connect. Because we are... We're, I mean, we're making a slurry. The slurry should connect to that. Um, let's grab some more of these pressure tubes. Will it connect to the top? Will it connect to the bottom? It will connect to neither. Very interesting. So, how does this actually work? Oh, wait. No, you just put it in a chemical oxidizer. Oh! I didn't even read what I was looking at. That is my bad, my bad. So, chemical oxidizer. Um, I have a feeling we're going to need a few of these. Let's grab, let's just grab one for now. <laughs> we're going to need a few. Give me one. Um, but I mean, same thing should happen here. So, put the gate on it. Let's, um, let's grab one more of these guys to connect there. We're going to tell him, hey, the gas that you're going to output is going to be at the top. I mean, you're not outputting a gas, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> sure. You're going to input items from the front. That should work. Uh, uh, no, that actually won't work. From the back, you'll input stuff. So we'll just put stuff in through there. That should be fine. Because I'm imagining we're going to expand this with a few more. Um, so all I need are the combs. Now, we will need them to be turned into actual combs. So this might be a little bit messier than originally planned. Um... What's the play for that? I think we just entangle a chest again. <laughs> I think the, the classic entangled chest is just pretty good. It's, it's honestly, it's pretty good at what it does. Uh, chest here, and then we can... We'll just use item, item pipes. I, I was deciding whether we wanted to use different pipes, but we'll just use these. They work. They get the job done. Um, we'll grab just this pipe upgrade. These guys, once again, they're not that fast. We don't have to worry too much about what's going on here. We'll do um, round robin. Cool. So I will, oh, 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 oh. I'll select you and then we'll go to our, I mean, I could go to our processing area or we could just add it here because we do, we obviously have the network over here. Um, ba, ba, bum, ba, da, da, bum, ba, 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 bum. We've got applied energy six connections there. Let's just, let's just hook it up. Let's just uh, grab this guy here. Cool. That's going to be there. Let's grab an exporter. Awesome. I'm going to grab a crafting upgrade as well. Put this guy here. Um, chuck in the crafting upgrade. Uh, so this guy will obviously be wasted radioactive honeycombs. Um, we are going to head back home to make the recipe. Uh, da, 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 da. Honeycomb is this. Cool. Bam, boom, boom, pop. Cool. So that should have already begun everything, right? This guy should be full of the combs, hopefully. Um, and this guy over here should be running. Neither is true. <laughs> Why is that the case? We've got wasted ra radioactive honey coat. Um, you know what? Wasted radioactive combs. Yep. That's cool. Um, maybe we put a regulator in as well. Usually that does the trick. So we'll come back over here, slap one of these in, um, 
and up this to a stack. That might work. <laughs> if that doesn't work, I I will actually be surprised. Yeah, why isn't that working? I don't I don't really know why it wouldn't. Um, the cable should be connected through there into this. We can break this to double check that there's no misconnection. Yep, that's all connected. Cool. Wasted radioactive comb. Crafting upgrade, regulator upgrade, bound to a chest. All that seems good on that end. Let's double check the recipe we've made then. For input one comb block and get four wasted ready. Oh, you know what? Maybe I need it to be exact. That might be the problem. It needs to be specifically a wasted radioactive honeycomb block. That might be the, the problem there. Is that the case? Survey says, I don't think so. It doesn't. Oh, it is. Cool. Awesome. There you go. Sweet. So we're going to go ahead and get um some upgrades. I'll grab gas upgrades. I don't think we need them, but I'll grab them. Just in, on the off chance that they are compatible here. Um, and then, yeah, everything else should be speak and spam. Gas upgrades? Nope. Speed upgrades? Of course. The energy upgrades are very important or else... L let me show you. This thing will use 8,000 forge energy per tick or it will use 800. That's pretty good. Um, so, so we now have a bunch of stuff being turned into polonium, being turned into, well, polonium. Oh, and the water's working. Look at this. Ah, pretty cool. So there we go. Oh, and the other important thing, not only is the cat and the um, red sheep still alive, never fear, um, we should be getting waste showing up here. Um, but I guess it's getting taken out instantly. So, I mean, that's that's proof that that's working perfectly as well. Let's go ahead and jump into our Radio B section to double check this. Um, oh God, we're struggling a little bit as per usual. I, I don't know if it's just not up to, oh yeah, there we go. There's a bucket worth in there and now it's in the environment. <laughs> Wonderful. So this is working. Um, I'll tell you what, let's toggle on our shaders. See what that makes the room look like. See if it maybe looks a little bit better. If we... No, it's way too dark for a thumbnail. Uh, but yeah, sweet. So we've got um, radioactive waste automated using wasted radioactive bees. How cool is that? So that should automate our polonium a lot better once we actually start using it, which will hopefully be, I don't know, next episode or something. Um, with that being said, uh, you guys in the comments have let me know that I should probably solve our power with a fusion reactor before we even try to start making antimatter. So looks like that's next on the horizon. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully you've had a good time. Hopefully you're still enjoying things. I, once again, I, I do want to say the channel is going phenomenal and, and, and thank you all for that. Hopefully you guys are, are loving stuff. I ha I actually have the uh, event video recorded. I didn't attempt the event myself in the video, but um, that will probably be up maybe after this episode or like at, at some point. Um, but yeah, so that should be fun. Have fun, enjoy it, build some fun stuff. Yeah, should be good. Thank you guys. That, that, thank you a lot, genuinely. Um, hopefully you guys, I don't know, understand how cool this is as well because it, it, it is really cool. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you to our tier three channel members. Thank you to all our channel members, but thank you to uh, Melizzy, Final Phoenix 13, Yulia, and Mr. Brendan for being tier three channel members. Thank you. Don't feel pressured to become one or be one or any of that. Um, the, ch the videos will happen regardless. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.